I have That's a friend a of mine. One. Listen, I have a friend of mine. Okay, he oh he like this is his criteria to find a girl. She has to have blue eyes. Has to have blue eyes, which is amazing. Okay, that is what he wants. And he's like, yo, man, because I've been meeting girls with blue eyes lately. I'm like, what the hell's going on? And I don't know what it is, right? Yeah. For whatever reason, right? I just meet people blue eyes. I'm like, what? Everyone's blue eyed now. And maybe because I'm next to him. Yeah. But this is what happened. I, I watched a Tony Robbins video. This is what he said. He's like, he, he was talking to the, the interviewer. Oh, like about attraction? Correct. Maybe? It's not about attraction. It's like about attraction or whatever? Similar, similar. Uh-huh. I explained to you what it is. So, for example, if I tell you right now, okay, I want you to, I want you to find everything in this room that is black. Okay, everything in this room. Go, go ahead. Look for everything that's black. Okay, everything that's black. Okay, everything that's black. Okay, yeah. now close your eyes. Tell me everything in this room that is blue. Ah! A little beanbag thing tossing uh, thing uh, over there. Because uh, you just remember. Because you remember. Is it? It's, yes, not, you know, it's not blue. <laughs> it's black and red. You see what I'm saying? Why didn't you find anything blue? I wasn't thinking about that. Because you were focused on black. Yeah. So what happens is right behind it's you. called a Ross, right? right? <laughs> you know what? Right there. Look at that line with the blue eyes, right? Oh, yeah. Blue yeah. right there on the marker on the board. Blue yeah. sticky notes. Why didn't you see that? Because yeah. you were focused on the black. Yeah. So what most people do is they focus on the black, but they want the blue. Yeah. So what happens is when you focus on the black, it's what your belief system is. What you believe in your mind, what you what you believe you're deserving or what you believe that you can get is what you'll get. So I believe that I can have abundance. I actually believe there's abundance flowing to me. Yeah. Cash flow, money, opportunities. Listen, I cannot tell you how many people on a weekly basis call me and say, Michael, I want to do business with you. It's incredible. Yeah. It's, 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 bro, it's getting to the point. I'm like, dude, I, I, I need to have like 50 businesses by now. Yeah. And I say no to a lot of them, yeah. but some of them, I like the person. So I can kind of talk to them, this and that, yeah. but I'm always looking for opportunities because yeah. I'm looking for it. It's attracting into my life. Cause I'm a, I have the abundant mindset, yeah. but it has to do, it has to be this. Your mindset has yeah. to be congruent with your belief system. Right. And your belief system has to be congruent with what you're looking for. Yeah, yeah, if yeah. not, you will not find it. Yeah, yeah. So my boy who's looking for these blue-eyed girls, the reason why he's not meeting them is not because he sucks. It's because in his mind somewhere, he doesn't believe that he can find them. Yeah. Or he's just not looking hard enough. Yeah. Because if you look hard enough, you will find them. Yeah. And I love him to death, by the way. But for some reason, every time he talks about it, I guess because he's talking about it, I want to look for it as well because yeah. I'm kind of like looking out for him. All of a sudden, I see blue-eyed chicks everywhere. Yeah. It's like they're coming to me. It's crazy. <laughs> everywhere I go. Yeah. In the street, friends. But anywhere I go, I'm like, damn, so many people. I never realized that because I'm looking for it. Yeah. Now, this doesn't mean that I'm looking for a blue-eyed chick. I'm just explaining to the mindset. All right. What you look for is what you will find. Well, of course. So if you're looking for, i give you another example, perfect example. I have a friend of mine, okay? He's on the older side, okay, mm-hmm. over 40. Okay, we were just talking the other day. Great guy, amazing guy, business guy, love him, amazing mindset, everything. But for some reason, because he wants to get married now, mm-hmm. for some reason he keeps meeting girls that are not really amazing quality for him. Like, they either want to party, they don't want to have a nice life, but he's just meeting the wrong girls. Now, in my mind, I was like, wait a minute. It can't be that it's just Miami. Yeah. I, but I don't believe that. No, yeah, yeah. I don't believe that. Like, yeah, I know there's girls in Miami that you guys, you're probably girls watching this guys, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're trying to milk guys, go on dates, and just Absolutely. go to nice restaurants yeah. and Komodo, all those places. Especially when we interview people and they give those answers, like, I get where you're coming from. I but agree, but I also disagree. Yeah, that's I, what I'm saying. For whatever reason, I don't meet those kind of girls. For whatever reason, I just don't. I don't attract that. Maybe because I'm ugly. I don't know. I don't think so. But I, it's not because of that. It's because what you believe and what you look for is what you get. If you're looking for wifey, you're going to find wifey. Yeah. If you're looking for biddies, you're going to find biddies. Yeah. What are you looking for? Yeah. And some of you single guys or single gals are looking for your wife or your husband, but your mindset and your brain is not accepting that. So you're out exactly. there looking for the biddies. Yeah. You're looking to have a great time. And you cannot have a great time and find your wife at the same exactly, time. Exactly, because you're also attracting who you are. It's not who you are. It's what you're looking for. And yeah. by what you're looking for is who you are in turn because your mind is all based on frequency. Yeah. So if you have the wrong frequency, you're going to attract what is on your frequency. So if let's say bottle girls, all this shit is on fucking frequency 100. And you're on that level, you're only going to attract the hundreds. But if you're, like at, if you're looking for wifey, she's a, a 500 mm-hmm. on that frequency, guess what? You're going to meet a bunch of wifeys. They may not be for you, but you'll meet quality girls that go to church, that go to synagogue, that actually are you know, observing with the holidays, observing with Judaism, observing with Christianity, observing with being Muslim, whatever it may be, yeah. because you're actually on the right wavelength. Yeah. Because you're not going to find an amazing wife at level 100. You're not, because that frequency attracts bottle girls, nothing wrong with them, or party girls, nothing wrong with that. But it's not wifey right now. This doesn't mean they cannot become wifey, but once they're ready to become wifey, they go to level 500. Yeah. Like, I give an example. At 21 years old, I was not ready to get married. I was yeah. having fun. Yeah. That was not where my mindset was at. My mindset was just having a blast. 
But guess what? My mindset today is what? I need to find wifey. So am I going to go out there every single freaking night and go party? Here and there, it's okay to spend time with your boys, go have fun. But even then, I was telling one of my boys, he was like, let's go hang out. I was like, man, I feel a little guilty. Because yeah. I'm like, if I'm going to start going out all the time, what am I going to attract? 100%. I'm going to attract the same of bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to find my wife at fucking Sexy Fish. You know, I'm not going to find my wife. I mean, you could, but what are the chances? What are the high likelihood, right? So with abundance, you got to be very careful with your frequency. This doesn't mean you can't go out, guys. I love Sexy Fish. Yeah. I love Marion. I love Gecko. I love these places. I know these places. I go there all the time. Yeah. But I'm very careful with how many times am I going there. Yeah. yeah. Like Kiki in the River, amazing place. Are you going to yeah. find your wife there? I yeah. don't know. I mean, maybe she's having dinner with her it's, friends. It's possible, but the odds, you know, are the not in your favor. The odds are not in your favor. So when it comes to abundance mentality, you want to yeah. put the odds in your favor. Absolutely. So what is the abundance mentality? Every single morning when I wake up, I read this abundance chart in my house, and mm. I read, I'm abundant. Everything comes to me and flows to me like abundantly. Everything is attractive to my life. I get opportunities left and right. My phone rings when people come to me, and opportunities are laid out on my face to make a lot of money. Mm. My wife is out there somewhere. I'm looking for my wife. She's coming to me. She's ready here. I got her. She's with me. I just got to find her. That's the mindset you have to have. And all of a sudden, they pop in your life. Yeah. You understand? So abundance has always worked for me, especially yeah. lately. It's like everything comes to you so easily. Yeah. It just flows, and it feels so good. But what do you think about people who struggle with not feeling des deserving of? Ah, you know, or there's also ah. people that they're like, I've even gotten hit with this question that they've asked me before, like, dude, like, making more money, like, how do you feel you deserve that? Like, then, then you're tempted to buy all these nice things and whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like. So, so this is my mentality. So those people that struggle with that, like. You will never make more or achieve more or receive more than your self-image. Never. If you believe you're a $50,000 a year person, you will never make more than that. Mm. If you believe you're a hundred grand a year person, you will never make more than that. It's powerful. You're not powerful. gonna make more than that. Yeah. Like, I'm telling you, you're not gonna make more than what you believe. You will not. You gotta, whatever you believe, yep. like yeah, whatever that cap is, you will not make more than that. It's impossible yeah. because you do not accept that. You're not accepting that wavelength. So you have to be open and you can't just yeah. say 10 million a month. Do you believe that? Yeah. Some people that say that believe that and yeah. they get it. Yeah. Well, there, there's some people that make $10 million a fucking month or a million dollars a month or yeah. a half a million a month or a million, a uh, 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 hundred grand a month. What is that number for you? If you right. do not believe that you can make five grand a month or 10 grand a month, you're yeah. not going to make it. I think you should question like your limiting beliefs and where they come from. Ah, 100%. you said something powerful. Yeah. You need to question what you believe. Yeah. And that's the hardest thing to do because your deepest belief systems is what's getting you the life that you have today. So sometimes because we're, because your mind accepted yeah. that belief, it doesn't question it. So you have to learn to question your own belief system. Yeah. Like, why do I think this way? Yeah. Like, I give you an example. My mom, as we were growing up, my parents always said this. Don't whistle in the house, you're going to lose money. Yeah. I want you to think about that for a second. It's a Russian thing. It's a Russian fucking stereotype. You said don't if whistle? You, yeah, if you whistle in the house, you will lose money. So Never when I used to go home, I used to go... <laughs> and they were like, ah, oh, don't whistle! And Russian, it was saying, yes, yes, yes. I'm oh. like, what the fuck you talking about? What? I said, like, okay, let me ask you a question. It's like a superstition thing? It's a superstition. What does me whistling have anything to do with money in my pocket coming in or out? You tell me. Dude, I have no idea. There's no fucking, you know what it is? Some ancient great grandma, 700 years ago, didn't like the fact that her children were whistling, so she spooked the kids and said, hey, if you whistle, you're going to lose money. Yeah. And that superstition was passed down from grandma to grandma to grandma to my fucking mom somehow, and all of a sudden the Russian community says, if you whistle, you're going to lose money. It's insane. Yeah. Or, I have you another one. Do, do not open the umbrella inside of the house. Can you, can you imagine that? So if I open up the umbrella house, I'm going to lose money. Or another one, even better yet. Do not jump over someone because you're going to be stay short. What? <laughs> Bro, I was like, what the fuck? So I used to fucking do this on purpose. I'm very oppositional. No, I, know I used to jump mean. over my brothers all the time. I'm like, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. It is what it is. It just makes, it's all the stupid, stupid shit that you believe. Right? It's a cap. It's yeah. a limiting belief factor. It's all bullshit. Yeah. Right? There's certain things that are true. There's spirituality yeah. and spiritual things that are out there. It's true yeah. that you cannot see. But Absolutely. some of that shit is just bullshit. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you want part two or part three, do me a favor. Click on the next video. And do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel. We love you so much for showing us love and support. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Appreciate you.